Welcome back, everybody, for some more Victors and Vanquished. And we have finally entered the four digits of years with uh, Thorfinn Karlsefni. This is Valhalla at the edge of the world. The Norseman stood on a rocky shore of the Pharaohs. He squinted to the northwest, trying to coax a hidden and distant land of mountains from the sliver of space between the foggy sky and the white foamed ocean. Somewhere out there was an island of ice and fire. Westeros. Men like him had sailed there before. By the chance of an errant storm and the will of the gods, a Norseman named Nadothur and another named Garthor had both reached the land separately and returned to tell tales of it. Others had no doubt ventured there, but their stories had been silenced by the drowning sea. This Norseman would be different. His Nar would take him on the Great Whale Road to this land, which he envisioned as the outlying fields of Asgard. This would be a land of plenty, where he could be his own man and work his own land, a challenge in the increasingly crowded pharaohs, to say nothing of Norway, where King Harald Finehair ruled with an iron fist. Hey, I know that guy. The Norseman pushed his Nar into the sea, beginning his journey. At the very edge of his own world, where it stretched to touch another, he would touch Valhalla's edge. Also, there is no achievement for this one, for some reason. This one and Temujin have no achievements, and I don't really know why. Alrighty, so, explore the Western Sea. Defeat the Irish of Iceland. You'll need to explore the Western Sea first. Build a barracks, dock, blacksmith, and six houses on Iceland. Because you are settling islands at the edge of the known world, your population limit is very small. You can only support 10 units in the Dark Age and up to 30 in the Feudal Age. Sailing on the open ocean is deadly and should be avoided if possible. Use waypoints to ensure your sh ships navigate a safe path. Because ships take damage at sea, a villager should not be uh, a villager should be brought on an altar and needs to make repairs. The ship may not be able to return without being fixed. In the Northern Sea, wood is uh, rare and precious. Take stock of your wood and always keep an eye on trees and bushes. Do not underestimate your enemies or the wildlife. Villagers should go nowhere without warriors to protect them. Do not expect to achieve your objectives without first reaching Greenland and the Americas. The Irish of Iceland are difficult to defeat. Complete secondary objectives for bonuses such as heroes and access to important technologies. Build a monastery to access monks, but your warriors will no longer pillage gold from uh, enemy buildings or the bodies of their enemies. Wow. Uh, that's useful. Floki is a boat builder. Good old Floki. He can build vessels to cross the Great Whale Road. But such knowledge is nothing without wood for ships. Gather the resources you will need for your first settlement. So I do remember this one. We might be able to even finish this in one video. You can see that the uh, there aren't that many players. The map is huge, but it's mostly the North Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> I think we can do also i don't remember us starting with resources as i recorded this the uh oh there's thorfinn carl sefni um the first of bjorn ironside went live and people were saying oh you can train villagers in the imperial age i think that's a change they made for the uh the official version and i like i said i think you start with more resources for five souls from whatever the northern sea brings upon man Alright, let's go to transport too. It's Eric the Red. Also, while we are waiting, Iceland. Uh, monks known as Papor lived in Iceland before the scandal. Uh, Scandinavian settlers arrived, possibly members of a Hiberno-Scottish mission. Uh. Fastened with iron rivets. The Is there construction allow the ship to weather the high sea settlement of Iceland? But such methods are not perfect. The ship will suffer damage controversial controversial results of carbon dating work. It stays on the ocean too long. So we're not too sure even apparently. Passengers to a watery grave. Oh. All right. Anyway, how do we get Thorfinn? Okay, here's a barracks. Most farmers gather at halls like this to arm themselves with axe or spear, 
and defend their land. Oh, it's ignore Ingolfer Aronson. Ingolfer Arnesen, tall and fiery, exiled from Norway for murder. He would make for a moiter? companion for a journey west. Yeah, being shut up on a boat with that guy for weeks on end. Convicted for murder. That sounds just right. Now, I don't think ships take damage in shallow waters. I think it's only once we get into the open ocean. Anyway. Let's bring you along and let's start doing some exploring. So we have... Enough gold for that. Oh. Let's just super ultra make sure we are fit to go. Let's get feudal age. We might be able to build some fish traps. Anyway, onward and upward. The sea of worms gnaws at the planks of the ship. Uh, it will sink if it does not reach land soon. There are rumors of an Iceland should be this way. West. And I definitely remember that. Ah! Iceland. Ah! I found Iceland. Ice fire. It is summer, and only dull grasses and shrubs emerge from the still cold earth. Some Irish make a hard living here, tending animals and worshipping their dead god. They will need to be defeated and Iceland settled. But Floki's band of travelers are no match for the Irish. There may be other lands further west to settle. All right. Um. Well, they only have 59 HP, which doesn't exactly inspire confidence. Also, we only have 90 stones, so we can't even build a TC yet. We need to build a mining camp, and wood is not easy to come by. No, 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 no. Oh, I don't know if they have a navy. Okay, back to full. So if Iceland's here, that means Greenland has to be somewhere up here. Basically, this is like Vinland Saga, but much more uh, RPG-like. Oh no. Come on. Come on. Oh, here's some ice flows. Glaciers and ice make these northern shores inhospitable. Better lands lie further south. Not with that attitude, they don't. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go further south. Hopefully Greenland... I honestly don't really remember where the trees are exactly or where resources are. I just remember that we have to make it to the New World and then we have to like defend against the Skraelings and then we go back to Iceland and then we win. Well, this seems slightly more hospitable. Some trees would be nice. Springs forth beneath the snow-covered mountains of this land. The grass is a vibrant green here, and the waters teem with fish, but trees and shrubs are scant. If a settlement is to grow here, wood must be brought from elsewhere. There is little wood in the east, but perhaps forests lie further west. No ship can survive that journey, however. All right, so... Let's see. Yeah. 
I guess we should build a TC here. Or no, it says settle green. I don't like. I don't know what settle Greenland means. I guess I have hand card in, but no loom. Yeah. Because I can afford a TC here, but I don't know if I can afford a TC. All right, hold on, hold on. One bush, two bush. One tree. So I can actually build a TC here, and then if I really need to, I can delete and build it in the new world. I think that should be fine. Because I have enough wood for another TC. And I obviously have enough stone for another one that's just a regular stone mine. Anyway, while you get on that... We're going to keep uh, scouting up the coast here. This building marks the start of a settlement and the birth of a new kingdom. Maybe you're supposed to build a TC here. I mean, there's enough space for it. I seem to remember the animals being super OP. Oh, there's another bush there. We're fine. You can see the outline of Greenland here. Although that area should be running out of wood very soon. We'll take the sheep, and then we'll have to move on to see what's next. Because we have enough wood for feudal age. We, we have, uh, actually already have our buildings. Oh my goodness, look at that. Uh, 11 attack and 165 HP is pretty rough. But we get some gold for it, so you get 15 gold. Anyway, let's click up to Feudal Age. We can get up to 30 pop there. And then we'll probably have a better chance over in the New World. Oh, no, 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 no. Run away! Run away! As the settlement grows, the Norse noticed bear tracks. These bears are far stronger than those of Europe. Only the toughest warriors can hunt them. Powerful bears will wander into the settlement. Warriors and palisades are needed to protect the villagers from these fearsome beasts. The animals can also be hunted for their pelts. These will fetch a nice sum of gold. The air gets colder and the ground tougher the further north the settlers venture. But surely this is the way towards a western land. Something like that. Come on, get the downhill hit. Have the TC help out. Oh, explore Greenland to find remains of human settlement. Oh, there's gold over there. Whoa. I don't remember that. I don't know what they want me to do with that information. Can we not research double bit axe, or do we have it researched already? Oh, we have it researched already. All right, are you out of wood? No, there's another tree over there. Oh. Some of the settlers worship the white Christ. Will this new land be firm ground for this religion, or will the ways of Odin and Thor remain? Uh, we're going to stick with Odin and Thor for now. Oh, our militia are now Norse warriors. 
That's a lot better. Okay, we're going to keep Ingolfer at home for now. I don't know how we get Carl Stephanie, though. I kind of want to scout along the coast, see if there's more gold or something. Some are veterans of the wars of Harold Finehair, and only need a little coaxing to return to their ways of raiding and pillaging. Research chieftains to unlock berserks. Ah, well. Okay, there's another bush over there, but it's, it's 100 wood. I need Building a lumber camp does nothing. We're not Japanese here. All right. I can't kill an allied cheaper. Right, can't you chop that tree? At least these guys uh, now have tracking, so their line of sight is a lot better. Hopefully we can see bears coming like that one over there. Can't I build a dock? Oh, here. More fish to take. And we still have another, like, 300-ish wood. No, no, no. Oh, wait, there's a skeleton. Does that count as remains of, or evidence of human settlement? Let's get another fish. Also, can these guys build fish traps? Yes, they can. Skip out on a strange totem. Oh, nice. Surrounded by human remains is the only evidence of prior settlement on this land. These people must have died centuries ago. Would human remains last that long out in the open? Warrior named Eric Thorvaldson, oh, the red, has heard of these lands across the sea. Fleeing accusations of murder, he cannot stay long in the <laughs> world. All right. Alright, um... Once you finish gathering that sheep... Oh wait, I got another vill too, wait a minute. Okay, that's really nice. Okay, well, we are we are at our limit du population. Let's see what's over here. Hopefully, we don't take too much damage in the crossing. Oh wow, we actually take no damage in the crossing. That's pretty sick. Okay. Can these guys take on a land? It's frozen soil topped with great stones. Hello, land. Land of the flat stones. Okay. There is some stone over here, but we don't really need it right now. Yeah. 
brûlait. All right. Okay. Don't mind me, guys. Anyway, I think we need to start getting to the new world soon. There isn't going to be any wood further in Greenland, so I don't really know what I really need to be doing there. Other than just a bunch of bears, I guess I could get for gold, but I'd rather just mine the gold. Alright. That should be enough to get us up over here. Yep. Finish mining that. And we can say, come on, Vaminos, come on, everybody, let's go to the new world. But I think this is the, uh, the Canadian archipelago, right? All of those islands and stuff that make up none of it. And I think we're going to go for uh, an epic TC drop. Can some of you guys reach the gold? I think they can. Just yeah, walk up that way. Okay. One more bill over that way. Because everybody else needs to fit in this transport ship. No, 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 no. I forgot about the bears. Yeah, it just gives a little bit of gold. Okay. We're gonna have just enough wood for this. Come on. And I guess worst case scenario, I can get 60 more wood over there. Go up this way and then sail over to the uh, the future. None of it. I could dock over here if need be as well. There's another tile of gold there. All right, across over here. We should be safe. Perfect. Anyway, we need to find a place with more trees than rocks. <laughs> we really don't have a lot of wood. Hey, trees! Oh, it's a king. Also, the Kree sure do look a lot like Incas.
Oh man, look at all these trees. Dense forests of pine and birch line the shore of this new land, promising abundant resources for a settlement. But the trees also hide unknown dangers. Red blood leaks from the painted ruddy warrior lying lifeless in the dim. War has come to this new land. You could even call it a new world. Alright. They got some units over here. I could try and go for some pro quick walls, but uh, in case you guys haven't noticed, I don't exactly have Viper's micro. What if I try and bait them? Yeah. Also, I'm not sure what the difference between the yellow scralings and the blue, uh, purple scralings are. I'm blue. No, I'm red. I know my colors. I'm, I'm definitely not colorblind, which I am. No, no, no. Alright. All right. Driftwood has washed up on the shore. It is damp and waterlogged, but wood nonetheless. Alright. Oh, look at that bear searching for its uh, yummy food. Are there are even some deep fish over here. Oh wait, I can get uh, chieftains. That way I can get some berserks. They're going to be nicer than those Norse warriors. The impassioned howls of the berserks fill the cold northern air as they thunder. The oh, they are expensive though, 100 food, 50 gold. of the wars of Harold Finehair lust for pillage and spilt blood. Well, we all lust for pillage and spilt blood, but do you see me making a big deal out of it? Yes. Also, we'll get a blacksmith as soon as we can. It's nice that we can get uh, squires and arson. Seriously, our heroes don't benefit. Right. It'll be just in time to ring the bills over this way. Let's get a raiding. As the settlement in Vinland grows, the Norse learn techniques to improve their ships for the ocean crossing. Cross the ocean safely. Oh, okay. Careening is just the regular cost of careening. So that's quite nice. Oh, 
Kusha Schmiede. Ja, auf die Lage. Ja. Oh, Kinder, hab Feinde. Kusha Schmiede. Right, keep up with that. Sixty-five HP is perfectly fine with these guys for now. It's a little bit less than our uh, swordsmen, but we get three more attack and one more melee armor. Anyway, torch him. Don't know how we get Thorfinn. Wait, how did the deer not die until it was all the way over there? Oh my goodness. The Norse settlers learned to clean, cook, and repair their ships to prevent the Sea of Worms sinking their vessel. Ships can now cross the ocean safely. Very good. Wait, we can build demos? That's the only ship we can make? That's so weird. Alright, we'll look for these Strayling Kings. I don't really feel the need to make monks. They don't have any units worth converting. And my Berserks and Heroes heal themselves. In fact, the Berserks heal themselves faster than the Heroes heal themselves. <laughs> Uh, one of the kings is up over here, but we're just going to keep scouting. And of course, they are hunting the deer off on Neptune. Right. I don't even know how useful the heroes are at this point. If they're so slow, and they don't even have the greatest stats. Get arson when we can afford it. You know, those are just unupgraded plume darchers. A Beotuk warrior from our Kree enemies. Wild men live in these forests, call them themselves the Skraelings. They don't have steel like ours, but they're fierce and they have numbers. It'll be a long winter. Right. Well, we we're cutting through these guys. Uh, sorry. 
Oh, darn. Oh, darn. Whoa. Didn't realize there were three monks here. Oh, that's a king. Die, die, die. Now we just cross the sea. No problem. Sea of worms. More like sea of plebs. Take down that stuff. Oh, wow, there's even more gold over here. I, I don't think we need it. We already have a ton. Anyway, the other Scraling King's up over here, I remember. Remember! With the Skraling kings dead, the new lands are ripe for further settlement. A warrior named Thorfinn Kalsefni vows to go to these lands and make a new life there. Um. Okay. You see, the thing is, though, how useful is Thorfinn at this point? <laughs> Let's just keep it real, guys. Okay, whatever. We'll bring some villagers with us. Also, for time's sake, we'll speed this up. Bring you all the way back over here. Neom. All right. You can always build barracks on Iceland. We can even build a monastery there. Alrighty. Let's go berserk. That. Anyway, we're wrecking them. Flex and six houses. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, oh, it's William Wallace and his wood readers. Oh, look at this jerk converting my veil. Alright. Barracks, black, barracks, blacksmith, dock, six houses. 
Of course, hailing back to Vinland Saga when you have to do the same thing. Well, we did that. We can build a monastery too. Oh, look at that guy. Inaccessible. Let's send uh, Thorfinn over. Anyway, as, as my opinion of this scenario is, it's it's fine. It feels like there isn't that much to do. It seems the White Christ has triumphed here as well. At the end. Oh, you can get forced levy. The settlers are less interested in raiding, but they will still defend their land. You don't really need forest levy. But it's like a lot of the exploring and stuff you can do is sort of just mitigated by just going and doing all the main objectives. Like, I don't really have that much incentive to keep exploring all around over here. I don't need to do anything over here. I don't need to go inside Greenland. Just kind of go forward and just kill everything. Also, this at the end is not really a challenge once you could just get to uh, your berserks. Wait, can you get... Okay, for a second I thought you could get Castle Age and I was just being really dumb, but no. But I'm sure if you don't know what you're doing early on, you're just going to screw up because that's what I did the first time I played it. But having a basic memory of what I need to do uh, makes it significantly easier. Get those docks. And we're even going to do this in one part. Look at us. By the way, I don't think there's anything over here except the North Atlantic. Yeah, that guy's kind of a jerk because we can't access him. But what can you do? Attack, please. Hello. Also, you can see the outline of the dragon from Vinland, Vinland Saga here. Like, personally, I enjoy Vinland Saga more because it's a lot about having to balance your gold. ventured onto the Great Whale Road, discovering lands beyond their imagination. Lands of ice and fire, of frozen glaciers, and of great forests swarming with caribou. The stories of these lands would be told for centuries in the sagas, long after the last Norseman leave. In the ports and taverns of Europe, the adventurers of a later age would listen and would return. Very good. Uh Okay. The sagas of Iceland, Greenland and Vinland would not be forgotten. The stories of these enterprising sailors, settlers and warriors would be told in the taverns and halls Didn't they of just Europe for say centuries. This? Long after the gods Thor and Odin were silenced by the piety of Christ, and long after the humble settlements in Vinland were overrun by nature, the sagas would inspire the imaginations of men and women of a later age. Nearly five centuries after the Norse reached the shores of a new world, other men of Europe would retrace their steps. In 1497, Giovanni Caboto, called John Cabot by his English employers, reached the same lands that they had discovered. Good old Canada. Yeah, that's a pretty good KD, but yeah. I mean, definitely let me know in the comments what you guys think of this scenario. Like, I, I think it's fine. 
Ah, uh, here's Newfoundland. We are uh, landing in Labrador. We well, actually can sail all the way around, but... Oh, there's another king, even. So there are three total kings. But uh, yeah, like, there wasn't really a whole lot to do over here. I guess this was just kind of a big barren Iceland. Oh, there's a cave. Maybe there's something in the cave. Aw, uh, we needed to have a... We need to have Scission here. The, or the at least the, you know, lonely hermit or something. Well, we need another throwback. But yeah, I mean, there just wasn't really that much else to do. Lots of ice in Greenland. Lots of green in Iceland. The classic. Anyway, guys, that was Carl Sefni. 1,000. Next up, guys, is going to be a much grander scenario, and that's going to be Caminos 1081. See you guys next time for that.